Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm just using the Call of Duty gameplay as a backdrop. This is Black Ops 2. Uh, I just need to get rid of This was my last gameplay for it that I have recorded. Uh, 17 and 2 S and D on the paintball map Rush, I think. Uh, but this is really old and I needed to get rid of it. Uh, but Call of Duty Ghost gameplays will be coming. But this is just kind of a video telling you guys about uh, how I'm doing right now. Um, in my playoff predictions, um, and then later this week I'll probably make two separate videos doing, going over the Patriots-Broncos game and then going over the Seahawks 49ers game. So let's get into this. I'm going to try to do it in order, so give me one second to load it up on my phone. But I don't know. Let me know how your guys' predictions are, um, what you guys are. There's been eight games. Uh, let me know how you guys uh, fared and how you guys did. And... Oh, my phone. My phone is all types of jacked up. Okay, I'm just going to try to remember it from memory. Okay, so the first game last week was Colts and the Chiefs. Um, I picked the Chiefs, uh, which wasn't a terrible pick. Um, it was about a 50-50 split um, on Colts or Chiefs, and I picked the Chiefs. So um, I just thought uh, the Chiefs were, they were, I don't know, they were kind of floundering at the end of the season, but... I thought they did decent. I thought they were good enough. They had the rest, and I thought they were going to beat the Colts, but I was wrong about that. So that puts me at 0-1. And then next was the Eagles and the Saints. And so if you saw on Twitter, I was making predictions and stuff like that, but my ones on Twitter were more personal predictions. And uh, my actual legit predictions, I didn't put on Twitter, but um, in this game I picked the Saints as my legit pick. <laughs> Uh, because I thought they would beat the Eagles. I wanted the Eagles to win, but I thought they would beat them. So I was 1-1 one one after day one. Uh, the next game up was the Bengals and the Chargers. And I picked the Chargers. I just thought the Chargers were a better team. Uh, Andy Dalton is awful in the playoffs, as you could see from the past few years and this year. He is just awful in the playoffs. Um, so that was a pretty easy pick for me to make. Um if they would have lost, it would have been stupid, because then I would have looked stupid for making the pick. But, uh, so that made me 2-1, which I was actually positive, which is just amazing when you hear my final record. Uh, but then the final game of the day was the 49ers and the Packers, and I picked the Packers, because I thought Aaron Rodgers would come out hot, and he really didn't. And so that put me to 2-2 two and two after the first weekend. Not terrible, not good. I uh, could have easily picked that. You really could easily pick that 4-0. Like, easily. Uh, 49ers probably are the better team, but I just thought Aaron Rodgers would come out hot and lead them to the win. Um, and then that Colts-Chiefs game, that was a complete toss-up. And, um, yeah, could have easily gotten that one right. So I was 2-2 two two after the first weekend. And then moving on to... Uh, this is going up Tuesday, so... Two days ago, three days ago, however you want to look at it. Uh, that weekend, uh, we started out with the... Who was it? The Saints and the Seahawks. That was the game, right? Saints and the Seahawks. Yeah, Saints and the Seahawks. And I picked the Saints. Um, I just thought Drew Brees and the Saints would have learned their lesson from the last time they went up to Seattle, but they obviously didn't. They made a valiant effort at the very end of the game to come back and try to get a win, uh, but there was just a little, it was a little too late, uh, kind of like Oregon and the Oregon-Stanford game or something like that, it was just a little too late of an attempt to come back, uh, so they, they fell short, and so that put me to 2-3, and three. and then the Patriots-Colts game, I knew the Patriots were going to win, I picked them, I knew they were going to win, <laughs> I knew they were going to win big probably, and Andrew Luck threw four picks, which is awful. Just can't do that in the divisional round of the playoffs. So they won. Patriots won, making me what is that three and three? Yeah, three and three. Um, really, uh, the Patriots kind of surprised me. I thought they would do a lot of running. I thought they'd possibly get more rushing touchdowns than passing. Uh, but they, Tom Brady, didn't even need to throw a touchdown pass. Didn't even need to throw one, which was amazing. Uh, but moving on to Sunday, we had the. 49ers and the Panthers, and I picked the Panthers, um, more, it was kind of a personal pick, but I really did think they were going to win, uh, I thought Cam Newton, Cam Newton didn't play awful, they just couldn't get their running game going, and I don't know, it never, never was, it never looked good past then, it was just kind of a, 
and it was a meh game. Panthers, Panthers uh, failed on some huge drives, like that 13 play drive or something that they didn't get any points off of. Uh, they went for it. They go for it twice and get stopped inside the five, or was it just once? I think it was once, but it may have been twice. Um, and then they missed a field goal, I think. I forget. I, just, I, I missed like half, like not half, but like a quarter and a half or something like that. I missed a little bit because I was driving, but um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Panthers lost. Uh, Cam Newton, they had kind of a shot to come back when it was like two scores, but then Cam Newton threw it in the interception, so that kind of that kind of ended their hopes right there. And it was a bad interception. He threw it like right to Dante Whitner, so that was that was an awful throw. And then the final game was the Chargers and the Broncos. And oh, well, I was three or four after that, but you guys will be surprised to pick the Chargers. I know a lot of people did pick the Chargers. Peyton Manning is not great in the playoffs, um, and the Chargers were hot. The Chargers were a hot team, and they just couldn't switch up their game plan. They just weren't. I don't know. They were just really hell bent on running the ball. And when Philip Rivers is not a bad quarterback, I'd say he's at least top seven, top six quarterbacks in the league, top eight. Um, so I don't know why they they waited so long for him to throw for uh, for them to throw the ball. Their defense held up great against that Broncos offense, and I just don't know what was up in their brain. They made a valiant final effort, but they just couldn't stop them on that final drive. Philip Rivers was dying on the sideline. I know it, and uh, I don't know. They 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 came close. They came close to to knocking off Denver, but that's just kind of how it goes. But that's gonna do it for this video. I'll have my predictions for the the conference championships coming up near the end of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.